Okay, I want to add sample. Okay, sample is really, really important. Here, click samples. Now you can see for sample, you can provide CCE, constant composition expansion, and CVD, constant volume depletion, and also for example, sam sample for relaxation, sample for saturation pressure, separator test, swelling test, in this case, I want to do CCE and CVD, which are quite normal when you construct a PVT model. Okay, so first one, you click this one, CCE, or I want to create CCE, open the drop down menu, select CCE. And now you will have CCE sample one. You can also rename if you want or call it CCE sample. Okay, again in CCE sample, you can have many experiments, many measurements, molar fraction of oil, oil formation volume factor, gas formation volume factor, and so on and so forth. It's quite comprehensive. You can do many things in CCE experiment. But in this example, in this tutorial, I have data for relative volume. Okay, so we go to relative volume. Here we will have table, pressure, and the relative volume. Okay, so I will go to my data. Here you can also check this one. I have the data here for CCE pressure versus relative volume. Okay, this is the data. Let me check. Let me try if I copy from the text document and then paste it here. Can I do that? Or I can do that. It's interesting. Okay, so this is my data, the pressure in bars. Bars absolute, Barca. It's not Barcelona, of course. And relative volume. So you can see this is the table and this is the, the plot. Dimensionless quantity, relative volume. Okay, so far so good. And the next one, I want to upload the data from CVD. Okay, CVD sample. I want to rename the CVD with CVD sample. For From CVD, I have data for gas Z vector. Okay, gas deviation factor. And I will go to my data, CVD pressure versus Z vector. I will copy my data from my text document and then paste it here. Okay, so this is the, the plot. Again, Z vector is dimensionless. So dimensionless quantity, which is gas Z vector, plotted against pressure in Barca. Again, it's not Barcelona. Okay, so we will go to from samples, we go to compositional variance. Here, previously, we are in samples down there. Now, because we have provided the navigator with experimental data, now we also want to do experiment in our operation. So click plus, experiments. I want to do CCE first, CCE. All right, now we will call it CCE. Okay, we have two options actually, draw from range data or draw from sample here, from range or from sample. Of course, we have provided T Navigator with sample, so I will take from sample. And the sample is CCE sample. Okay, I can go directly to okay, but let's check standard condition pressure, this one in bars, and standard condition temperature, 15 degrees Celsius. Okay, gas formation volume factor, we can use the default selection. So click okay. So let's see. It's not molar fraction or this one, I will uncheck. So from CCE, I will Take this one first, CCE. I have the data for relative volume. Take this one. Okay. 
so you can see I have the the plot and I also for example I have the data now I'm showing you the this one the heavy heavy relative volume this dark blue line and the relative volume from data which are the dots the line is taken from the correlation okay the correlation to construct the relative volume whereas the dots are the data i can show both the light and the heavy component so you can see the purple now is the heavy and then the dark blue is the light component okay so more or less quite match for the relative volume okay and the next one i want to check the cvd experiment cvd okay for the cvd i will call it cvd and again i can use the range or from sample here i will take the sample okay and then again standard condition pressure and then standard condition temperature click ok from cvd i will take this one i have data for gas factor now you can see they don't match actually for the data are these dots but the light component only if we construct the gas z factor we will have the brown color the chocolate one whereas from the heavy component only using correlation we will have for the gas z vector the purple color the purple line so they don't actually match but that's okay so from here we will go back to the components and now we will create matching why do we need to match to do matching because at the end of the day what we will use in our reservoir simulation it's not the data but the correlation results okay the correlation or we can also call it the model the pvt model so we will not use pvt data in our reservoir simulation not pvt data because pvt data is very limited we only have several dots or several data but what we will use is the pvt model okay so what we will use is pvt model and pvt model is constructed using correlation and the correlation need to be matched with the real data okay so that's why we will do matching 